Surface grinding setups. Can you spot five things that are wrong with this grinding setup? This video is made for apprentices and people that are new to grinding. This is a fun short video, kind of a where's Waldo for machining type. Before we get started, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. Okay, let's get started right now. Warning, viewer discretion is advised. This video is made for apprentices and may contain scenes that are over explained and may not be appropriate for your skill level. The disclaimer. That was pretty quick, wasn't it? Did you spot all five? Keep in mind, these are not in any particular order. The first one, we're gonna have to say, is too fast to feed. I know we're picking the low hanging fruit here, but number two, we're gonna call no cooling. This will also help with our number three that's coming up. Number three, we're going to say dull wheel causing burn marks on the workpiece. Number four, this one's going to take a little bit of explanation, but the long side of the workpiece is in line with the X axis of the grinder. To make the graphics a little easier to understand, let's just say that the workpiece is almost as long as the actual table. As you move the grinder back and forth, it passes over the center of the workpiece more than it does the outer edges. And the outer edges can also dissipate the heat faster than the center of the block. Therefore, the center of the block heats up faster than the outsides of the block or outer edges. And when that happens, the center of the block expands through thermal expansion. When the center of the block expands more than the outside edges do, and the grinder passes over top of it again, it will remove the high spot, which would be the center of the block. After the block cools, the center of the block will have a small divot in it. There is a simple fix to this. All you need to do is turn the block slightly to about a 15 degree angle. Number five, machine towards the solid jaw. Let me explain this a little bit better. During any machining operation, be it on a grinder or lay the mill, you should always machine towards a solid jaw. It will make your setup safer and more rigid. This video is shot for a student demonstration. What are the five things that are wrong? Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, he had no coolant on. For no coolant? The, the burn marks all over his piece. Burn marks on the surface? There's a, the wheel is black on the edges. Only on the edges? Because now doll, it needs to be redressed. The vise itself shouldn't be symmetrical with the lines. So it should be lengthwise or cocked 15 degrees. So a 15 degrees turn, yeah. or you're saying turn this 90 degrees. 90 degrees with the tail out here, with the back jaw towards the pressure of the wheel. Okay, so you want to be cutting towards the pressure of the solid jaw. Yeah, exactly. You always... I know what you're about to say. You found more than just five. You're correct, there is a few more than five. If you have found other issues, please leave them in the comments section below so that everybody else can see them as well. If you want to see other great videos, check out my YouTube channel, Shop and Math. If you got any value out of this video, please like and subscribe, it's free and it'll help me out. All you have to do is click on the icon of my face and I'll do the rest. Thanks for watching the video and have a great night.